with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And he said to them, What is it that you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one on your right hand, one at your left, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink? Or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, We are able. Then Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink. The baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left, is not mine to grant, but it's for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers lorded over them, and their great ones are tyrants, over them, but it is not so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first must be the slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. Lord Jesus, please come within this place from pulpit to pew. Help us to recognize, to draw closer, to see you, to experience you in this time of fellowship and worship. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Please be seated. something that somebody else had and you wanted it. <laughs> Anybody ever seen something that was vacant and you wanted it? Human nature to want things. This is a true story. I want to preface it because in a moment it's not going to sound true. But I want to make sure you understand that what I'm telling you is true stories. I will not share any names so that they will, we won't have to worry about those people feeling bad. There was a married couple. And there was another lady. This other lady looked at this husband and decided that she wanted the husband. Well, things progressed, and the wife confronted the woman and simply said, You can have him. <laughs> Sometimes. 
happens, that's how it is. We, with our human eyes, we see something and we go, wow, that looks good. You see a car, you go, I would look good in that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has on an outfit, you're like, I would look good in that. All these things, except car, cars come with what? Car payments. <laughs> and we all have different shapes. And I can see another gentleman with a great suit on. And I can go and get the exact same suit. And it don't look the same on me. Because that's for yeah. him. The whole point is being grateful for what's been prepared. Us. And that's the most difficult thing because it's so easy to look around and think that what we have is not enough. And what somebody else has is so much more and so much better until you get it. And then you realize cars break down, things happen. The point today is James and John were hanging out with Jesus. And they knew that Jesus' life beyond the earthly realm was going to have something beyond what they could even be able to understand. But they also knew that when Jesus had power while he's here, but when he gets to glory, he's going to have eternal power. And sometimes people don't want to do anything except to be closely associated with influence. They want to be closely associated with those who have power or those who have a certain gift, or those who have a certain talent. You ever seen, I, this is, this is, um, I was at uh, a particular crab place some years ago, picking up some crabs, and um, person, I won't even get a gender, person walks up and says, how are your crabs today? So, how are you number one? Are they really big? Are they really me? What about your number two? What about this? What about that? And there's two people standing there. And when the first person who was doing all the talking stopped and looked back, I realized they didn't have no money. <laughs> <laughs> the person that was the quiet person was the one who was going to be doing the pay. They wanted to be closely associated and make the decision for the one who had the money. Interesting. Oh, so the rest of the story is very simple. That um, telling lady woke up, she said, we'll take some number twos and carry moving. <laughs> <laughs> James and John teaches us something today. And Jesus makes this point. It's not about being it's not about being close. Because with Jesus, we all have value. With Jesus, we all have purpose. With Jesus, we all are winners. With Jesus, we all have a success story. With Jesus, we all have, as I said last week, we all have a story of overcoming. Jesus, we all have our own story. And Jesus is saying here in Mark, just like he says in John 14, that he's going and doing what? To prepare a place for us. So that when that time comes, we have a special place that's been designed just for us. Not worrying about somebody else's place, but sending up enough timber each and every day so that when we get there that we find out that he's prepared just what we want. Anybody have a particular favorite food? Everybody has a favorite food? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody have somebody mess up your favorite food? Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what it is. You know, it could be anything. Uh, my, 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 I'm going to talk about it. She ain't here. Um, <laughs> My late sister went to fry some chicken one time and it ended up gray. <laughs> now, I'm used to chicken being brown or black. 
<laughs> when that girl had great chicken and great gravy, <laughs> I eat something else. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look good. It didn't taste good. Oh, well, let me rephrase that. No, I don't know how it tasted. I just didn't partake. Because sometimes when you look at something nasty, you don't have to you don't have to prove it to yourself. You just gotta let that stay. <laughs> it is so important. We have to get excited about Jesus loving all of us so much. And he knows us so well that he wants nothing but the best for us. And the best for us is to trust is to trust him and know that he's going to prepare something special. Not just over there, but right here. Sometimes we miss out because we want something else rather than what God has for me. So when we all look around, let's get excited about what God has designed for all of us. And knowing that whatever. Everybody knows I started my career as a school bus driver. And I spent years in transportation work, working my way up to different positions. And, um, but when I was at the beginning, do you know people said, what are you going to do, drive a school bus forever? <laughs> but what they didn't know is God could take the salary of a school bus driver and turn it into a homeowner. I didn't have to have a big fancy job to have a really nice house. Yeah. And then a school bus driver can go get a bigger house. Yeah. Because see, it wasn't about the possession. It wasn't about the things. It was about using what God has given the way God has designed for it to be used. You can take whatever God has given us and turn it into something. So today, when we look around, look around and see what God has placed, where God has placed us. Mind it for all we can, using everything that God has given us, learning as much as we can about where we are. And trust me, God will use what we have to take us to where he's prepared for us. God bless you. We're going to stop there.